Hey everybody, how you doing today? It's Doug Herman with Cottonwood Hunting Lodge and the Nail Call. I know some of you guys out there think that this is a joke, but it's really not a joke. It's one of the best hunting calls I've ever came up with, I've ever seen, um, ever had introduced to me. I'm a professional guy out in western Nebraska. We have hundreds of turkeys. I mean, it's, it's not that we don't have the birds, but I've tried a lot of different calls in the past and when I got introduced to this call it's just an amazing call the way the birds react to it um, some people have asked me to put up a little bit of video so y'all can hear the call in action um, see see how it works pretty much it's just a it's a little ceramic stone that uh, and it's a it's a it's a block of wood with the horseshoe nail and if you look at that nail, it's got a little slant to it. When you get this call, if you get one of these from me and you get this call, that slant always faces away from you. So you got the high side of the nail or the longest side of the nail facing towards you. So it gives you room to stroke away from and break the call over. So when you start this call out, you want to hold this in your hand as much as you can. If this stone is too long, just take it in to Home Depot and have them cut a half inch of it off or something like that on their tile saw they can do that for you or you can take a belt sander and sand it down if you have to it's a lot harder and a lot more difficult um, but what you want to do is you want to just pretty much put the call in your hand if you can't hold it this way you can hold it this way or however you want to hold it but you gotta hold this call like this in your hand some people don't hold it the long way like this it don't run like that it's like this and you most of the time when I send them out, I put a little dot on this side where your, the, the size your fingers are supposed to be on. And you want to cup this call, but you got to give it room to get, get out. You got to give the room for the sound to get out. And all you're really moving when you're doing this call is your fingers. You're not taking your hand over like this. You're just raking the call down, down the strike. So you put it on there like this, pretty much about like that, and then pretty much at a 90 degree. Now, if you want to... And if you want, now if you see, my, my hands are long enough so I can reach over the top and, and that's how I do my little cutting. Now to yelp, we just, just break that call on over. Now if you want a key key, you just keep that call at 90 degree and drag it straight down. Sometimes I'll push the stone or do them both. It does just about every call except for, of course, the gobble, but you can even cluck and purr on it if you want. And this is a call, the more you run it, the more you run it, the more it will sound better, and it will get to the point to where it gets the, the um, the nail will get shaped to your personal stroking style of the nail. Now when you do this, it's just like any other friction call. Don't lift the nail up. All you got to do is just slide it right back. It's just like any other friction call. You don't want to pick it up because every time you do, it's going to tap on the call and you don't want that. But this cutting, This drives them old gobblers crazy. It makes them just go nuts. They'll gobble at that about almost every time. It's not a joke. It's a real call. I use it constantly in the woods. Many, many turkeys have had their demise to this call. It's There's nothing else like it in the woods. It sounds a lot to me like a young Jenny Hen out in Nebraska anyways I've never hunted anywhere but Nebraska so I can't speak on any other states but I have a lot of guys and a lot of friends from around the country in the turkey calling world who tell me that it sounds a lot like some of the birds or that they've heard that sound in the woods before so you know I, I think and the guy I got I, I, that introduced me to call is a Missouri and Iowa hunter and he's never used any call in his entire life except for this one right here and so you can you can let the you can let it out by spreading your fingers and let more sound out, or you can cup it up, and it will echo in the box more. Now here's one that's just oops that's just slightly bigger. It just oh actually that was this one's just a little bit different. It's on a little higher pitch. Just 
a little bit. I mean, if you want me one that's higher pitched, I'll make it higher pitched. If you want one that's lower pitched, I can I can tune them so they're lower pitched. But I can't get much less. Excuse me. I can't get much less than this right here. I mean, this is about as low pitch as I'm going to get. So anyway, there's a little run on the nail call. It works very well. This stone, you don't want to drop it. It is breakable. Like I said, it's ceramic, and you can crack it, and you can run this call on any surface of this stone. You can run it on that side. You can run it on that side. You can run it on the skinny side and the good thing about this if your knife gets dull you can sharpen it right on up <laughs> and clean your bird so anyway and you see how it gets dirty gets metal deposit on there a simple pencil eraser will just take that right on off of there you just take that pencil eraser boom she's cleaned up ready to roll you want to carry a lighter with you if it's wet because if this stone gets wet it won't run doesn't matter if this gets wet but if this gets wet it will not run, but if you just take a cigarette lighter or some sort of lighter and dry it out, you're good to go. You're killing birds. And that's all we're out to do today is kill us a big old long beard. Y'all have a good day. This is Doug Herman with Cottonwood Hunting Lodge.